Welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. What's going on, crew? Today we are going to be unboxing not just one, but two of the Datsun pickup trucks. So today we are going to be doing the JDM tuners Datsun pickup. Now I know these have been out for a little bit, couple months. Um, they finally came in and I got them um, about a week ago or so. But I had these on pre-order, of course with this pandemic going in, going on, it um, pushed back the ship date on mine. So I finally got them in, so I wanted to do a unboxing. And then if you do check out our other videos, I did do an unboxing uh, a couple videos ago on the Datsun 510 wide bodies. So now we can go ahead and take a look at the Datsun uh, pickup. So there are two colors available. There's that cream and then there is the blue. And these are only in scale 1 24th. I have not seen if they release them in the 1 32nd at all. But then on the back here are a couple of other vehicles you can get from the 1 uh, 24th from the JDM tuners. Uh, I know we did do the NSX, we have a Skyline out there, we have a 350Z, I did do the wide body, 510, I do have Subaru, I might have a Mazda RX-7, if not I do have an Eclipse, I do have the STI, so we still have some other videos that we can get done here. But what we're going to do first is go ahead and get these vehicles opened up and then we'll take a dual look at them. Alrighty, everybody, and we are back. So I got them both unboxed. I guess we can do the item number first, and then we'll take a look at them. So I'm pretty sure the, our cars are identical. The only difference is going to be the paint scheme. So, all right, so this one is showing 30444, and this one was the cream color. 30444 scale 124th and this is the Datsun pickup. Now it doesn't have the year on here, but I'm pretty sure they are the um Datsun um 620 pickup 
which was from 72 to 79, I think. But I'm not 100% sure. And then the blue one is showing... 31603. 31603. 31603. Same thing. That's in pickup. Like I said, I'm pretty sure these are the considered the 620 um, pickups. Alright, so let's take a look at the... I don't know. We're going to do the blue one because I think the blue one looks a little nicer. And then... We'll take a look at the white one, and like I said, I'm pretty sure they are identical vehicles, just different color. So, in the front here, this bottom part is plastic. You can see there is some, are those lenses? Yep, there are actually lenses, the amber lenses at the bottom. The grill is chrome, the inside is chrome, and I do love the fact that you can really make out that Datsun logo. It looks really cool. And then the headlights are clear plastic and then the fog lights or running lights or whatever the middle ones are are a yellowish tint to them which look really cool. And then the rear view mirrors or the side mirrors here are that rubbery type that are just painted um, silver. Then going along to the side, very clean only thing you got is the Datsun on the fender and then they put a little bit of silver for the door handles and then it's got the um, gold with a um, chrome lip around it for the wheels and then of course the rubber tires the base is plastic and everything on here is um, die cast and I do love the blue and the gold that's like true JDM right there with the um, blue paint job and then the gold rims. You know, they do the, S, the STIs like that and all that other cool stuff. I really love the color scheme. The other cool color scheme I like is the pearl white with the gold wheels. Take a look at the inside. They didn't do anything too crazy. They didn't put any chrome anything like that make it a look like the classic JDM look to it and it does have the stickers back there for the gauges so that is cool I like the fact that these look almost like factory fresh and it's got the same wheels in the back the bed is plastic and then going along to the back the bumper here is chrome the exhaust are also chrome just the mufflers does have clear lenses for the brake lights and look at that Datsun on the tailgate and they did a really good job on these because this thing is clean and the tailgate does come down and then again this back is just plastic There is your passenger side, which again is the same. There's another peek at the inside. And it does have little windows in the back here. Of course, the back and the windshield. All right, let's take a look under the hood. All right, so they go with a all chrome motor. And then the parts around it are just the black plastic. So that is pretty cool. You know, sometimes I do like when they put a whole bunch of graphics on it and all that other stuff, but sometimes just the clean look to it looks really cool. And here we go with the white one. So the white one is going to be exactly the same. Everything, only difference is, is the color scheme. And this is not like a gloss white. This is more of like a cream. I don't know if you guys saw the Datsun 510Y bodies that I did. But they released a 132nd scale of the 510, and it was the same cream color, which looks really cool. Otherwise, the front end is the same. And with this one, they go with the chrome rims, which do look pretty cool. I wonder how the 
gold rims would look on it. Maybe I'll do a quick wheel swap for the pictures. So if you want to see more pictures, go ahead and check out our Facebook page where you'll see a lot more pictures and different angles of all these vehicles. And everything we've done so far unboxing, they're all up there so you guys can see the item numbers and all that other good stuff in case you're interested in finding these. There is the inside on this one. Go into the back. So now this one's cool because they do the writing in a black color so it really pops on there. And surprisingly, there are no flaws on both of these models, which is nice. I've gotten a couple of Jada ones where there's paint smudges or something is wrong with them. But so far these two look pretty much flawless which is nice because these are cool castings i wonder if they're going to do any more and i'm not sure if they're going to make these in the smaller scale the 132nd all i've seen is these two released and of course these are the 124th scale so there we go there's a quick unboxing for you guys like i said decided to do both of them together that way um I had them both, got them both at the same time. I mean, why do two videos if they're exactly the same car, just different colors? I know sometimes I do do the two different colors, like two different videos, but that's usually because I don't have both colors at the same time. But there we go. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can join the Spent Too Much Diecast crew. Then also hit that bell notification, that way you guys get uh, notified every time I put up new videos. We still got a bunch more videos, I still got a bunch of cars, still got a bunch of cars coming in on pre-order that, like I said, have been delayed due to everything going on. But we did just get some new ones, we just put up the Scooby-Doo, uh, Black Widow's up, and we got a couple more Avengers coming, I got a couple more Avengers to do. Um, I know they're releasing new Fast and the Furious cars. They're supposed to be releasing new JDM cars. They're releasing the Power Rangers. So there's a lot coming up here this year into next. So make sure you guys stay tuned. And then also in the comments down below, why don't you go ahead and let me know what your favorite color scheme is. Do you like the cr uh, cream with the chrome rims or do you like the classic JDM which is the blue with the gold or bronze rims. Like I said, I think I'm going to do a wheel swap quick on them. Um, so make sure you check out our Facebook page or and or Instagram. Usually Facebook has more of the pictures. It's just easier to put up albums. But definitely go ahead and check that out and give that a like. But until next time, thanks for watching and have a good day.
thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again, everybody, and have a great day.